doubles and it's a repeat of last year's uh, final. It is the defending champions, Watanabe and Higashino, against the reigning world champions, Sheng Shiwei and Wang Yaxiong. Well, when we look at the race to Guangzhou and the standings in the mixed doubles, we've had uh, five World Tour event so far, and the only winners of a World Tour event this year missing from that list is Sheng Shiwei and Wang Yaxiong, who are in today's final. But I can tell you that the other pair in today's final, currently at number four, Watanabe and Higashino, will uh, go up to number one after this week in Birmingham, regardless of whether they win or lose today's final. Well, as far as the mixed doubles draw is concerned, by quarterfinal stage, we had six different nationalities involved and five seeds. Only two seeds by semi-final stage. And uh, Go and Lai of Malaysia and Jordan and Okta Bianti really did themselves proud. But here we are, ready for a repeat of last year's final. Please welcome the players. First up, the number one seeds. From China, Jixi Wei and Wang Yaxiong. The reigning world champions today are in their 17th final together in only their 20th tournament together. Last year, they were in 12 finals from 15 tournaments played. They played one tournament already this year. They won the Indonesian Masters. There is a very good reason why they are world champions and world number ones. And give it up for their opponents, the number three seeds and defending mixed doubles champions from Japan, Yuta Watanabe and Elisa Higashino. The defending champions, Yuta Watanabe and Elisa Higashino, the pair that caused a sensation a year ago by winning this title when unseeded, beating their opponents of today. And in winning the title, Yuta Watanabe became the first male player from Japan ever to win an All England title. Since that final a year ago, they have risen on the world rankings and now up at number three. A couple of finals last year, it wasn't just the All England, they also won the Hong Kong 500 event. So, defending champions. Last pair to retain a title in the All England Mixed Doubles was, of course, Tumtoia Akhmad and Liliana Nasir, who won three consecutive titles, 2012, 13 and 14. Yes, Larsen of Denmark are on half of this one. And for Wang Yashion, this is her third consecutive final because she was champion here two years ago playing with Lu Kai. There she is, her third consecutive All England Mixed Doubles final. The 25-year-old turned 25 last month, born in Kuzhou in southwest Xijiang province in East China. She and her partner became world number ones on the 9th of August last year. So this, their 31st consecutive week as world number ones. He too had a birthday last month. Sheng Shiwei turned 22, and he was born in the port city of Wenzhou in Xujiang province. So, as far as they are concerned, well, they stormed through their first three matches in double quick time against Dreyman and uh, Dimova of Russia, 22 minutes, uh, Gondo and Kurihara in 24 minutes. The European champions, number six seeds, Chris and Gabby Adcock in just 35 minutes. But the semi-final yesterday, they had to save 
three match points in the second game. They were 17-20 down before they came back to win it 22-20, 21-13 in the second, in the deciding game. 53 minutes in total. So to Arisa Higashino, the 22-year-old from Japan, from Hokkaido, the northernmost of the main four islands. She and her partner enjoying their 16th consecutive week as world number threes. Yuta Watanabe uh, from Suginami, which is part of uh, Tokyo. 21-year-old, has huge talent, wonderful racket skills. Now, the interesting uh, point from uh, their path through to today's final is they haven't played against another seeded pair, but they did go to three games in the first two rounds. First of all, against Christiansen and Pedersen, then against Liu Kai, who won the title with Wang Yashiong two years ago and Cheng Lu, then Tantoi Akhmad, who's won the title three times with his new partner. Semi-final against the unseeded Malaysians, Go and Lai. So no seeded opposition. But this will be the sixth meeting between these two pairs and of the previous five, Cheng Shiwei and Wang Yashiong have won four of them, including the last three. The last time was the semi-final of the Indonesian Masters, which the Chinese pair went on to win. So as I was telling you, Jesper Larsen, our umpire for this, and Gavin Smith of England is the service judge. So despite being number one and three in the world, so this is only the second time that they're meeting in a final. Ladies and of course, and gentlemen, it's the second All England on final my right, they're meeting Wang in. Chong, Cheng Jui, China. And on my left, Yusa Watanabe, Arisha Higashino, Japan. <laughs> Wang Yachong to serve to Arisha Higashino. Level play. So the All England final gets underway. Oh, well, that's a super shot, I told you. It's clever. Yuta Watanabe. <laughs> What a start. Yeah. <laughs> yeah good shot. It's almost like he's playing a topspin shot in that one. Mm, very good start. To love. I don't know whether the Chinese pair will have gained confidence from that real scare in their semi final or perhaps lost confidence, had their confidence dented. I don't know. I, I can only say that going into the tournament, into this All England this year, Service over. I felt that uh, the Chinese pair, Seng Siwei and Huang Yachong, were the overwhelming favourites to win, the, the top biggest favourite in all five categories. Yeah. That was the pair. And everything has been going according to plan until yesterday. Two, Suddenly oh. it completely fell apart and they had three match points against them. Yeah. Survived it, and I don't know whether they can regroup from that and really get back and play to, while well, I would say, their normal standard again in this match. Yeah. That's just wrong. I mean, when they formed their partnership at the end of last... at the three, end of 2017, two. they played three tournaments, won three titles. Last year, they were in 12 finals from 15 tournaments played, winning nine titles. I mean, it's, it just emphasises the point you're making, overwhelming favourites before the start of the tournament. Good rally. Yeah. Good defensive skills by the two Japanese, Higashino and Watanabe. Setting up this opportunity here, well placed by Watanabe. And then the Ra smash. Oh. Really found the gap there at the mid court area. On the backhand side of the two Chinese. Oh. 
Yeah, he was the one that was really struggling yesterday, wasn't he? Cheng Shi Wei. He was. The one also have to add it to the picture, I think, when you when you look at a player like Praveen Jordan. He is a very strong, strong player. He makes a lot of mistakes on certain, you know, sometimes, but when he's getting it right, he is really, really difficult to play. And yesterday he got it right. Yeah. Five, three. Good action on it. Six, Steen have told me in the past, Morton, that Arisa Higashino is the fastest female mixed doubles player yes. in the world. Yeah. She is very, very agile, quick on, his, on her feet and really covering the net very well. Uh, her defence, on the other hand, is not the strongest. She was under a lot of pressure yeah. on that one. But in general. But at the age of only 22, she's still improving. There's no doubt about that. And so is Watanabe. not too sluggish today, is he? No, they have the upper hand. They, they create the initiative, and that's what's making the difference at the moment. They are on the attack. Yeah. And normally it's the uh, two Chinese, Si Wei and uh, Huang Ya Chong, that's on the attack, and that's when they're so good. But somehow they're forced into defence. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, on the gap. Go. a very clever return from uh, Watanabe pushing it into the deep forehand corner of um, Seng Si Wei Seven, with his eyes. Eight. And you, you've seen them quite a lot. And I think that some of his weaknesses is in these deep corners, the backhand and the forehand corner. Champions back level. Eight all. Play. Play. Nineteen. 
Spell by the world champions. Six straight points. That's a good serve there by Sensiwe. Serving wide, setting him off for a good opportunity Nine, to hear. Ten. Game interval, the world nine. champions with interval. a two point advantage. Singles very interesting, Morton. That the uh, Chinese head coach of the doubles, Jiang Jun, has come out to be alongside Player. Yang Min for well, the final. They obviously think that uh, it's very, very important, and it is very, very important. The fact that they're playing against the pair that beat them last year, and the All England title is very, very important. And title in badminton is equivalent to the leader in tennis. Smash from Higashino. You could play here by Watanabe. And as you said before, this is again one of the trademarks of uh, Higashino. That's the jump smash. She's got really good height on it and she hits hard. Yeah. Interesting the way Wang Yashiong smashed from the back of the court and immediately moved forward. She didn't want to get stuck at the back at all at the start of that rally. It's interesting when I watched the match yesterday in the mix that was here. 14, 11. I agree with you that Seng Siwei did not play well. But I think one of the reasons why he did not play well was because Huang Ya Chong did not play well. And she's normally playing him good. But when she was not playing so well, he was suddenly under a lot of pressure. And in the opening here of this first game, I felt a little 15, bit the same, but she's sort 11. of now coming into it. And she's playing Sensi way better now. Yeah. I don't know if it makes sense. Yes, it does. 
and very good return of the flick serve. Because when we normally see Huang Yachong play, she is in complete control of the net and is setting up partner so well with lots and lots of lifts. I understand and I agree totally with what you're saying, but I think we also ought to make the point that I thought Praveen Jordan and Dr. Viante were playing sensationally well. They were. Uh, as I said, Praveen Jordan is a, an all-or-nothing player. Yeah. And yesterday, it was everything. 16-12. Yeah. Again, you see that Huang Yachong is, is making a mistake you normally don't see her play. This is how you see her. Yeah. Richard Tanaba challenges called in. First challenge of this mixed doubles final. mentioned about Higashino's defense if Higashino is standing on the left and Watanabe my oh goodness why on earth did he <laughs> challenge, challenge that one they're standing one on the right remaining. and she's covering kind of the center she's standing always with the backhand 17, defense so you hit her on the forehand side she can play. cover it but she can only play a cross court one she cannot play a straight one so you just place your partner out of the net on the cross and then you win it Well taken. Eighteen. But let's see 14. if we get a situation on that defensive situation for the two Japanese. for coaches. <laughs> Three winners, or was it four 19. with a straight smash down the line there, mm, the left yeah. hander? It's got a good smash down there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear me. That's not even close. 20 game point. 16. Four game point opportunities for the world champions. Oh. One well over. saved. Yeah, they really need the lock on their side 20. if they're going to save this one. 16 20 down. Four points down. Service error, what a pity. An unfortunate First way game, to end Wang the opening game. 21-17. The opening game in favour of the number one seeds and reigning world champions. Opening game taking just 17 minutes. 
冲到往前的时候就去盯他出手，就是你的两边球要去快速打下，把球头先打下，打下去。这是创，就是他叫创造进攻，舒服了就打，不舒服先拦拦拦。拦他主要给你的都是你舒服，懂吗？另外就是你这个有的时候，这他们也是一样，在跟我们抢中前场，我们千万不能放弃中前场，我们一定要去斗中中国，好吧？Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Well, a year ago in the mixed doubles final, Cheng Shiwei and Wang Yaxiong won the opening game, but ended up losing the final. Will history repeat itself? Service over. One, love. Wow. Well, there's a perfect demonstration of how quick she is. She is so quick. Two, love. That's wonderful. Service over. One, two. That's where she really got some problems on the forehand side of her defence. Yeah, so nice over. Big return of serve. Saw her just turn the racket head at the last moment. Three, one. Very important for the Japanese pet to be hitting the shuttle in a downward direction because as you were talking earlier, Morton, when the Chinese pair are on the attack, they're all out attack. Yeah, and they're really good doing it. And that's, of course, their favourite formation. This is where Sen Wei Five, is by far two. at his best. That's a good start for Hikashima and Watanabe. This is a very good start, mind you. We shouldn't forget the fact seven, that they were seven two. three up in the opening game. I think this is slightly better. Yeah, what's happening is that Hikashino is simply taking the net away from uh, Wang Yachong. Right idea. 
Yeah, but I think he had a string. Yeah. And that's why he was attempting that shot. Sengsiwe wanted to direct that smash towards uh, the forehand side of Hikashino on that one. So there by Sengsi Wei. Setting himself up very well. It's also like there's not a lot of communication between the two Chinese. Normally, I think they talk quite a lot and they're supportive of one mm. another. And it's like there's kind of no communication. I noticed that earlier too. Oh, that's magnificent. What a shot there from Yuta Watanabe. And the defending champions have a seven-point advantage here the mid-game interval of the second game. Well taken. Oh, my goodness. That's a good body. Oh, brilliant. Sensational. One of the best rallies of the match so far. I wouldn't be surprised if that's near the longest rally either. Twelve, four. Yeah, is the longest rally. Service over. Five, twelve. 
what's happened here, Morton? Is it just that the Japanese pair have up their game and are looking to attack more, or what's I, gone on? I think it's it's coming back to what I said earlier. Hikashino has simply taken the net away, like here, from uh, Huang Yachong. She had three, four shots here, where she was really dominating, and then, of course, now Six, Yachong got into 12. it, and she won this one. But in general, I would say that uh, Hikashino is winning the net at the moment, and that's why it's happening. Yeah. Well, challenge. I don't think he'll probably be successful on that. I don't think he's expecting to be successful. So you think it's a tactical challenge? Yep. Needs a small break here, not in terms of physical, but just challenge to break it up a bit. Yeah, one challenge remaining. That's ridiculous to challenge that one, but it's throwing Seven, away a challenge. 12. But if it helps recompose Play. the thoughts, mm. break the rhythm a little bit of your opponent, perhaps that's a way to do it. Well. If that was the theory behind it, it may have had the desired effect. Seven. Yeah, very, very sharp onto that one. Yeah, she forgot there was a forehand there. Yeah. 14, seven. Well, they've already played against a left and right handed combination. That was the Adcocks. Just missed it. No. Oh, challenges. You won't win that challenge either, I don't think. If it's in, there was some shot. Yeah. So no challenges left. No challenges remaining. Service over. 8 14. Play. Oh, that's oh. a good flick, oh, so. flick. Terrific. 9 14. And this time it's going to be a normal low surf. Yeah. You know, I think Watanabe has disturbed his own rhythm <laughs> by that ridiculous challenge at the back of the court. Yeah. I can guarantee you that was not his intention. No. <laughs> Good defence there by hey! Yao Chong. Hey! And really moved Watanabe completely to the other side. And then, of course, the Chinese could regroup. Look at this, now they're on top. Momentum has changed completely. Yeah, he has shifted. 14. Play on. Play. Play, yeah. Okay.
Well, oh, this is absolutely extraordinary. 13, 14. Nine of 11 points. Chinese combination have been very successful in creating a more flat exchanges situation than a forthright uh, attack defense situation. And by doing that, they have sort of worked their way into it. There has been a lot of flat exchanges. They're not blocking that much to the net, they're pushing it and they get a flat back, they play a flat back and so on. So they have more flat exchanges rather yeah. than having normal right, attack defence situations. Yeah. Service over. But what a return that was from Hikashina. 16, 14. Well taken. Uh, I'll see again. We, it's a flat exchange. Exactly. Example of on the uh, forehand side of Hikashino. Can't control it. So back level. Having bring eight points adrift. Oh, oh, that's well taken. Seventeen sixteen. Smash directly towards her left shoulder. Yeah, I think she actually wanted to leave it. I think she thought it might go out. 17 all. She wants to have a look here. Yeah, but well, you're right, it's yeah. placed very high. 17 all. Good serve there by Seaway. Oh, that's terrific. Was in the right place at the right time, 18, but just oh. mistimed the shot. Well, she is so much better on her forehand side than on her backhand side, so that was quite a risk to take. This crucial stage, the world champions go into the lead. 19-18. I know, I know someone was saying that it's not how you start, but it's how you finish. 
I might have been known to say that once or twice before. <laughs> That. Yeah, well left. 19 Set all. 19 oh, that all. was a good opportunity there for Seng Siwei. opportunity for the defending champions to force a third and deciding game what a rally 20 game point 19 oh good defense Fast and furious. Oh, it's in. Oh, it's landed it in. 20 all. Extra points required until there's a clear two point winning margin. Look at the skills 20. on show oh. here. just survived this one 21, look surely that was going 20. long having survived a game point opportunity now the reigning world champions right. have a match point to uh, avenge their defeat from a year ago and here it comes and this time game. they do it Absolute delight for Cheng Shi Wei. A second title for Wang Yashion. Two years after she won with Liu Kai. And last year's champions are beaten this year in two straight games. Well, what a thrilling match. I and I'm sure most of the fans would have loved to have seen a third and deciding game there because it was badminton of the very, very highest quality. And the pace, as you pointed out in the last few rallies, was absolutely phenomenal. 21, 17, 22, 20 in a match lasting exactly 40 minutes. There's the final point, the moment of victory, and look at that reaction. I think we can safely say he's pretty happy <laughs> to win the All England title. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. So, the champions, the world champions, become the All England champions. And we'll have a word with them courtside. Let's get a word with the Yonex All England Mixed Doubles Champions, Zhang Siwei and Huang Yaqiong of China. How good does that feel to take the Yonex All England title and against the pair who beat you here last year? Uh, 
I would feel splendid to win the championship this year. And I see our progress for the whole year and we managed to beat them today in a match. Well, it was a great final. How difficult is it to maintain this intensity? You've been world number one since last August. Well, I think, first of all, we need to be stable in how we tackle the match. I think that's the key for our success. And what would you like to say to your fans who've made lots of noise and supporting you here, and of course, your fans watching on TV at home? Well, we are really grateful for every audience come to support us. You made us feel quite like feel us come home. It's just splendid. That's a great sentiment. Let's hear it for our mixed doubles champions, Cheng Siwei, Huang Yajun of China. And we thought your play was splendid too. Well done to Cheng Siwei and Huang Yajun. comeback from 4-12 down in that second game. They're the sheer delight for the world champions. Two tournaments played this year, two titles for Shen Wei and Wang Yaxiong. Yeah, head doubles coach Zhang Zhong, absolutely delighted. So too is Yang Ming. Chinese fans delight as well in a superb performance. Well, what a career they've had so far. 20 tournaments, 17 finals, 14 titles since they formed their partnership. That is utterly astonishing. A second title for this lady, Wang Yaxiong, two years after her first with former partner Lu Kai. And a final point. The moment of victory so sweet in sport and the Chinese fans will be mightily happy because Chinese players have won three titles at this All England Championships. Of course, there's still one more final to come. That's the men's singles. China. So, the mixed doubles presentation just about ready. So let's go courtside and join our master of ceremonies, Howard Benson. Ladies and gentlemen, the victory ceremony for the 2019 Yonex All England Open mixed doubles.
please welcome our presentation party. Phil Jones, Yonex Volunteer of the Year. Ben Yonayama, Chairman of Yonex Company Limited. And Diana Troop, President of Badminton England. Let's hear it for our 2019 Mixed Doubles runners-up from Japan, Yuta Watanabe and Arisa Higashino! Yuta Watanabe and Arisa Higashino, champions a year ago, uh, but here in 2019, they have to settle for second best. fourth World Tour tournament final and the first time that they have lost a World Tour final. The 2019 Yonex All England Open Mixed Doubles Champions from China, Jackson Wei and Wang Yaxiao! The world champions, the world number ones, become the All England champions as well. Second title of the year to go with the Indonesian Masters 500. Last year, they won the Grand Slam of 750 events. They won all five 750 World Tour events. I wonder if they could win the Grand Slam this year of Super 1000s. They certainly made the best possible start. The trophy presented by Anna Trope, President of Badminton England. Fourteenth title in only their twentieth tournament together. Remarkable. Ladies and gentlemen, your Yonex All England Open Mixed Doubles champions, Jiangsi Wei and Huang Yaxiao!